Hello everyone and welcome back to Biotechnica's YouTube channel and today we have a very new vacancy for you and this is by the Bureau of Indian Standards BIS BIS Recruitment 2022 Online Applications Invited. Okay, so Bureau of Indian Standards has put out a notification and somehow it is related to biosciences. So let's see how we can apply for this prestigious vacancy. So a little bit about Bureau of Indian Standards. So it's the statutory body under the Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, that is Department of Consumer Affairs, Government of India, and is responsible for activities in the field of standardization, product and system certification, hallmarking of gold, silver, jewelry, laboratory testing, etc. in the country. And now they are inviting online applications from eligible individuals for filling up of vacancies by direct recruitment in the following posts at the BIS headquarters, New Delhi and BIS offices located in the country. Okay, so as you can see, they are also involved in laboratory testing. So that's how this is related to us. So what is the vacancy that you can apply for? So it's laboratory technical posts. So group B post, which is to be filled by direct recruitment. So the name of the post is technical assistant laboratory. The discipline is microbiology. The total number of vacancies is 10 and for unreserved in those 10, it is 4. The rest you can check in the notification. The maximum age limit is 30 years and the pay level for the post is level 6. Okay. So what is the educational qualifications and experience required to, to apply for this technical assistant laboratory vacancies? So for that, for microbiology discipline, it is bachelor's degree in science that is with microbiology as one of the main subjects with a minimum of 60% marks, okay, 50% for SC and ST. So like I said, it's an online application process. It's also a direct recruitment. So what is the process of recruitment? So for technical assistant, you will have two hurdles to go through. One is the online exam and the next being your practical and skill test, okay. So what is the online examination details? Okay, so let's take a look. So for specifically for technical assistant laboratory. So the exam shall be of graduate level since it's a BSc microbiology. What is the qualification necessary? Okay, so this is the syllabus. So you have the name of the test, which is general intelligence and reasoning. Number of questions is 50. Maximum marks is 50. Duration of the test is 40 minutes. Okay. Now, next section will be general awareness, which is 25 questions, maximum marks of 25 and duration of 20 minutes. Then you have an English language portion, number of questions 25, maximum marks 25 and the duration of 20 minutes. And finally, since you're applying for technical assistant lab, so technical knowledge of the concerned discipline. So in our case, it is microbiology. So the number of questions will be 50, maximum marks will be 50 and the duration will be 40. So in total, it is 150 questions of 150 marks and duration of 120 minutes. So it will be bilingual, that is English and Hindi, except for the test of English language. Okay, so four sections, general intelligence and reasoning, general awareness, English language, and finally your chosen discipline. Okay, so what is the requirement for this? The candidates will be required to secure at least 50% marks in the concerned discipline and also at least 50% marks in aggregate out of total maximum marks in the online examination to be called for skill test, practical test, straight test, which shall be qualifying in nature. So like I said, it's a two-parter. One is your online exam and then you have your practical and skill test. So this was the online exam syllabus where you have four sections and only if you have the required marks will you be called for the next part, which is the skill test. So how do you apply? So the candidates can apply online only from 19th April 2022 to midnight of 9th May 2022 and no other mode of application will be accepted. So as of now, the link is not active as of yet to apply online. So by the time you watch the video, it may be active. So make sure you bookmark this page. Okay, so we will update it with the link. Now, what are the important points to be noted before registration? So a few pointers will go through quickly. So first, before applying online, the candidate should scan their photograph, signature, left thumb impression, a handwritten declaration, okay, with the text which is given below. Okay, now, like I said, there's also an application fee, okay, which is non-refundable. 
again from the 19th of april to 9th of may you can pay for it so bank transaction charges for online payment of application fees will have to be borne by the candidate okay so apply online link has not been updated since at the time of making this video it's before the start of the registrations so once the link goes active we'll be adding it on this page so again do bookmark this page okay so the details on how you can apply is given over here so click on the apply online option and you have to register your application so you have to click here for new registration and enter all of the details that you get over there okay so once you're done with it you can click on the complete registration button okay and you have to save all of these details and you can also modify it only after verifying and ensuring that the photograph signature uploaded and other details filled by you are correct then you have to click on the payment tab and proceed with the payment click on the submit button okay so there's a payment of fees like i said it's non-refundable it's online process okay so what is the amount that you need to pay so the amount that ne needs to be paid for this particular exam is rupees 500 okay and no fee is to be paid by sc st pwds women and bs bis serving employees okay so a quick overview of the date registration of applications start from 19th of april and go goes on to 9th of may same with the fee payment and also the issue of admit card for online exam is 10 days before the date of examination and tentatively the exam will be held in the month of june so if you're from a bsc microbiology background and you want to work at this government institute bureau of indian standards so this is the job posting for you the link will go live soon so like i said keep up Keep yourself updated with Biotechnica. Bookmark this page. Follow us on all of our socials. Follow us on Telegram especially because all of these updates get posted there first. So once the link goes active, once the admit card is issued, all of those details will be posted immediately on Telegram. So make sure you follow us over there. Leave a like on this video and let us know in the comments what more you would like to hear from us. Okay, turn on your post notifications for this YouTube channel because we have a lot of interesting stuff coming up. And also check out the links in the description box, especially this page link, which will be given in the description box because you can check out more details about the notification. Also download our official Biotechnica app because all of these jobs get updated in real time over there. Check out the stores link as well because Biotechnica has tons of certification courses, internships and so many more career guidance courses, which will really help you in your career. Okay, so all the best. We'll see you in our next one. Take care.